What I know for sure is that the biggest choices begin and end with you. For any young person who feels like they're depressed or they're suicidal or they're anxious, you feel like you're the only one in the world feeling that way. There's a certain measure of isolation that goes with the disease of mental illness where you feel no one else could possibly understand what I'm going through. When you're depressed and anxious, it's not the events of your life that are upsetting you, it's the messages you're giving yourself, the way you're interpreting events. So the advice that I would give myself is that hiding it, A, is the worst thing that you could do, B, we all struggle from a myriad array of different problems, and C, once you acknowledge that you have a problem and you begin working on it, then you really can fix it. And I think that that is the most important thing I would tell my younger self. It is a solvable problem. Anxiety is characterized by excessive worry, nervousness, or unease about something. The key thing to remember is that what you're anxious about may or may not happen. So you might be anxious about how you will perform on a test or how well you will do on an upcoming assignment. But if you check your track record, you will likely discover that you usually perform better than you thought you would. And what I found is that, that you consistently question and challenge the story that you have created about the situation that is causing you anxiety. I love positive psychology and it teaches us that our brains tend to extremize and the thought is not the problem. The thought is going to come, especially if it's a habit that you have. But the real issue is agreeing with the thought. I can remember getting a needs improvement on an evaluation and my immediate thought was, Maybe you're not cut out for this. It's like I forgot about all of the positive comments that were made and my mind was stuck and focused on the negative feedback. That response is typical. There isn't anything wrong with you because your mind is accustomed to focusing on the negative. But what you have to do is make sure that you're not allowing that feedback as a way to measure your potential, as a way to measure your skill set. And preparation is, is a great way to reduce anxiety. Even if you have a tough challenge, being prepared will make you feel more at ease. Don't wait until the last minute and try to cram everything. Spread it out, pace yourself, and be confident when the day comes for you to show up. You have to keep studying. You have to keep learning. You have to keep improving your skill set because that is how you're going to get closer to achieving your goals. You're not going to get closer to your goals by laying in the bed all day. And so when I experience disappointment, I have to own what happened, but I still have to choose to move on. I have to begin to figure out, okay, what do I need to do to improve my circumstances? It's important that you have a support system, but at the end of the day, your future is determined by what you do on a daily basis, not what other people do to you or for you.